All right, Shalom. First off, we want to give our praises to yeah. Yahweh by Hashem, yeah. Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakal Kodash, double honors to our apostles and elders, and Shalom to all the Akim out there preaching his word in truth and sincerity. So we're just making this brief video, basically just going in to, you know, exhorting the body and exhorting one another to continue in the faith, because it's not going to get easier as we're getting closer to the end. It's only going to get harder, you know? And that's why we do need to continue to exhort one another and, uh, and uh, encourage one another to continue on in the faith. Because the spiritual demon Satan, he's going to just keep coming harder and harder at you, you know? Because what's his whole goal? To, his whole goal is to, to do what? Make you give up and stop wanting to fight. Right when you're at the end. Right before you get across that finish line, he wants you to just stop running and just, just give up. But the, you can see the finish line right there. You know, that's why we got to continue to exhort another to keep on going. Like, the line's right there. Come on, let's go, let's go. Yeah, you're tired, but like, man, come on, keep pushing. Keep pushing, mm -hmm. you know? We can rest later. And when we're we going to rest later, that's when we in the kingdom, man. Sure. You know, so we got to keep pushing until we do get in the kingdom. Because that's, that's the only time we are going to really be able to truly rest. Mm -hmm. So the first scripture I wanted to start with is Hebrews 3 and 13. Or, not, matter of fact, I'm going to start at verse 12. Take heed, brethren, lest there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief in departing from the living power. So you got to take heed to what the Spirit is saying. Take heed to what brothers and apostles are saying in the videos. You know, you got to examine yourself. Take heed to yourself as well, man. You know? At least there be in any of you uh, an, heart, an evil heart of unbelief. You know, and you know what that type of heart is. It, 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 you see that throughout the person's actions, how you can tell that they have an evil heart of unbelief. Because if you believe, what does like the scriptures say? I believe, therefore I have spoke. Mm -hmm. So if you believe, you're going to do what you're supposed to do. And if you have that evil heart of unbelief, then you're, you're going to stop doing what you're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. And that's made manifest by your actions. The guys who before they fall, all the guys that fell out before they did fall out, you started seeing it in their actions. That evil heart of unbelief, it started manifesting itself, and you could see that before they ultimately just fall out. You still start seeing that evil heart starting to manifest itself, mm -hmm. and they started doing what? Departing from the living power, departing from Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Yep. Instead of leaning more upon the spirit, they started leaning more upon the flesh, doing just doing whatever other things that, um, to comfort them instead of going to the real comforter, which is Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. And it's a word, man. Yeah, I got a quick. Uh... Uh, slack, slack. Thought I found it. Yep, yep. Right here. Mm -hmm. This is uh, Sirach chapter twenty, uh, chapter ten, verse twelve. Hold up. Yep. All right. Uh, you can go. The the beginning of pride is when one departed from the Most High, and his heart is turned away from his Maker. Yeah, the beginning of the pride is when you depart from Yah by Shem Shai. And your heart, your heart is turned away from your maker because you don't, you're not, um, you're not leaning upon y'all about some y'all shy no more. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, no, I was going to add to what you're going into. Uh, you start to get that evil heart of unbelief, mm -hmm. you know, because your heart is turned away from, from the Heavenly Father. You know, Ecclesiastes, the 12th chapter, let us hear the conclusion of the matter, the full duty of the Israelite man and a, ultimately a man of the Lord, you know. Is to what fear the heavenly Father and and uh, keep His commandments. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know which we are commanded to uh, to prophesy. Okay, and, and, and to what to come uh, uh to 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 uh to preach uh, uh the destruction and the repentance. All right, you know to to uh, uh to prophesy. All right, this is the year of prophecy and to continue to fight that good fight of faith through it all to continue to endure and to continue continue to exhort one another to do the same. Mm -hmm. You know. To press forward to that to that to that mark, yeah. Okay, yet certain guys, uh, uh, examples, guys that's not here uh, around anymore. You know, they started to um um they hearts started to turn away from their maker, from the heavenly father. You see, like the brothers was saying, you know, they stop they stop uh putting putting out videos. They stop they stop speaking as much. You not speak. They're not speaking as much at camp. They're not fellowshipping with the Akiyam. You know. What 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 are they doing? They're they're doing something something of fleshly or worldly, mm -hmm. okay? You know. Uh, I'll I'll quote it again. This is Sirach ten and, and twelve, okay? 
the beginning of pride is when one departed from the Most High, you know, and then ultimately what? They just depart. They just leave. If they're not spewed out, they just leave. You know, they dip out, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, the beginning of pride is when one departed from the Most High and his heart is turned away from his maker. Yep. Mm. And it all started with that pride. Yep, yep. That's it. That's it. Because you don't you don't think that you you need Yah Bashim Yah Shai anymore, really. You think that you got it now. Yep. Like, oh this is this ain't doing me no good being here. Doing all right. I I was doing better when I was doing like I was just doing my own thing. Mm -hmm. Why do I need to listen to somebody else telling me what to do or trying to yeah. say I need to do this or that? I'm a grown man. I can make my own decisions, whatever. That pride that pride demon start getting on you. Yep, like like the um the the apostle uh Tahar did a a video is it was called um Pride is a motherfucker, you mm -hmm. know, because because um, Esau is is, is this, uh, lifted up with pride, you know, and and what, like the scriptures say, that pride has deceived him, man, you know, and, and, and pride has deceived many, all right, including two thirds of our own people, all right. You got it, brother. That I just want to pronounce that piece up. Mm -hmm. Back in Hebrews three and I'm gonna start at thirteen, but exhort one another daily. While it is called today, and that's what we—that's what we've been talking about, exhorting one another daily, just like the um, the, uh, the uh, apostle Gabar with his uh, his, his shows daily, daily exhortation, exhortation. Kind, kind. exhorting one another daily, mm -hmm. you know, to continue on with the in the faith, because you see the apostles they making videos, their other brothers are making videos, you know, trying to continue to exhort one another, all right, and uh, the um the, uh, the body members of the body. So why are you, why are you not doing the same? You know, mm -hmm. when you when you see in those videos that really should exhort you and make you want to do what? Want to go harder, man? Yep. Want to do more? Make you want to be more in the spirit? Yeah, that's the spirit. I was thinking that. Because you start when you're looking at that, you know the word like like it says in Hebrews four twelve is sharp like a two edged sword. Yep. So then when you're hearing that word, it makes you just like even if you may not have been doing necessarily something wrong at that moment, it just make you want to just stay on point and still try strive to do more. Yeah. You know. Like uh, I forgot. Is it that word exhort or another word where it said above the expectation? Uh, 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 uh um, um. Ah, so like yeah. Yeah, I forgot the word it was that we looked up before at mm -hmm. camp, but it's basically going above that standard. Yeah. You know. Um, going beyond. It escapes me. Yeah, it escapes me too. But it's that the word, the definition of that word, I forgot what it was. It based, but it, it was going into how you um going beyond you know the expectation mm -hmm. you know above the standard yep. not settling settling for the bare minimum going above the bar yeah so called so to speak going beyond the call of duty mm -hmm. you know and that's by and you doing that by exhorting one another daily because mm -hmm. you in the scriptures really you're not you're not going beyond the call of duty because like it says in Romans the uh, the twelfth oh, chapter yeah, yeah this is your reasonable service yep and and you um. You can you never, can never go do far enough. enough. Yeah, exactly. That's right. So then the scriptures right here telling you to exhort one another daily. So mm -hmm. really, you should supposed to be doing that. Yeah. It shouldn't be like the apostles say about three videos. It's cool to do three videos. Yet the scriptures tell you to exhort. It's saying right here, exhort one another daily. Yeah. So that should be like that should be your what you're striving for, exhorting the, exhorting the body daily, man. Mm -hmm. You know, while it's called today, because we don't know what's going to be behold the next day or in the future. Like the scriptures say, to uh, make no tarrying and turn to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Yeah. Because you don't know what's going to come in the future. You might have said, like, instead of doing something that day, then you're like, I'm going to do it tomorrow. Then a whole bunch of shit just pop up in your next mm -hmm. day, and it's all hectic that you didn't even plan on happening. Now you're not able to do what you wanted to do. So, why did so you was better off doing it in that moment when you had the time to do it yeah. instead of putting it off later? That's right. You know, at least any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin, mm. and that's what happens. You get hardened. You start doing. You start committing iniquity, sinning. That pride get on you, cause then you you do you start you start being more you you start being more uh doing more earth worldly things, fleshly things, carnal things. Or right, instead of being more and more in the spirit, mm. and then that's the, that's that deceitfulness of sin, and it hardens you. You thinking that it's cool to do that? Then you get, now you start doing it more and more, and then just keep going harder and harder, but not for righteousness and wickedness, man. That's right. And that the, and you you become hardened, and you get you that pride is lifted up through the deceitfulness of sin, because mm -hmm. you thinking you doing the right thing, which is it's, it's it's all it was it was it's the wrong thing, That's right. you know. Well, yep. Yeah. If 
fucking um bring this out real, real fast. Uh, mm-hmm. Jeremiah um seventeen uh verse nine. <clears throat> mm-hmm. It says the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Yeah, the heart is deceitful because you can believe, you can justify anything in your mind. And the heart, the, the word heart there is talking about your mind, not your actual heart. Yeah. Uh, the lob. Word, lob, yep. Mm. It's talking about your mind, man, your thoughts. All right, yo, your thoughts are deceitful above all things because people justify all type of wickedness in this, and wickedness in this society through their, their heart. You know, like everybody else like to say, which is basically they talking about their mind. Yeah. All right. Right. So you can justify anything and make it sound cool, but it's yo know, the thoughts are wicked, especially in this living in this society. Everything is completely opposite and straight confusion. So of course something that's wicked is going to be justified in your mind. Yeah. That's why it's deceit. It's all deception here. It's all deceitful. That's right. It says, um, verse ten. I the Lord, uh, Yahweh, search the heart. I try the reins. Even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doings. Yeah, so you basically you, you receive what you put in. Mm-hmm. If you're doing if you're doing those things, all right, going off, all right, following your heart, you going the Lord's going to give you according to your ways. Yep. And that's made manifest, like I was saying, through person's actions. You know, and it, and it, through their countenance. Cause you see what they they're they're doing basically where their mind is. Yep. Like the scriptures say, where your mind is, that's where your treasure will be. Yeah, where your heart. Yep. The spirit thinking. Yeah, cause, yeah. Say where your heart, but basically yeah, like you know mind. your mind. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Cause that's that's real. If your mind is here, you're gonna be doing things based on around being here. But if your mind's in, in the, the heavens, you know it's the, the the world to come. All right. The kingdom of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Then you're gonna be doing what the things pertaining to that. That's right. And meditating upon things around that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got a precept. This is on Galatians 6 and 7. Mm-hmm. It says, uh, Be not deceived, the most high is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Yeah, like we just basically was going into. Whatever you're sowing, that's what you're going to reap. So yeah. if you want to um, reap things of the Spirit, you have to do what? Sow things of the Spirit, man. Be do more spiritual things to receive more spiritual things. It's, that's the balance, mm-hmm. you know. Because sure. just like if you want, just like if you are um you are a uh a, a husbandman, mm-hmm. all right, somebody that's into to, you know farming and all that, you planting those seeds to to reap those certain things that you put in your field. Mm-hmm. You want apples or fruits or fe- these vegetables. You got to put in work planting those, sowing those things, so you can reap it later. Same thing with your actions. If your actions are you're sowing nothing but wickedness, you're going to reap nothing but wickedness. Yep. And people would have that worldly saying, you like niggas been, that these bugged out rap niggas be saying like you the same energy you pushing out is the same thing you receive. They could get they quoting it basically from the scriptures. Yep. You basically they saying you're reaping what you sow. So if you if you sowing nothing but wickedness, that's what you're going to reap. Mm-hmm. It says um. Uh, for he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap uh, co- corruption, but he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. Yeah, so you're gonna reap corruption if you sow corruption, and you're gonna you're gonna reap the, uh, spiritual gifts if you're sowing to spiritual things. Mm-hmm. That's the that's the balance of it. Cause how do you how do you expect to get more spiritual when you're being being more carnal? Yep. That just it doesn't work like that. The Lord didn't just increase you. Spiritually, if you're being carnally all the time, man, you're gonna you're gonna become even more carnal because that's all you're into. But if you're you're sowing spiritual things, then the Lord increases you and makes you even more spiritual. That's right. You know, and and brothers is being increased in in the, in the spirit. You know, the more uh, the more we endure, you know, um, um, the Lord the Lord uh, shows more, give more knowledge, wisdom, understanding to Jake, more patience. You know that we can't. Um, Pretty much the spiritual things that we need to endure, all right, and um, and, and pretty much continue to do that which it is um um we we were ordained to do, you know, and 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 um uh, with that being acknowledged and said, uh uh you know we can't we can't take that lightly, you know. Yeah, and uh, 
Last yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just want to finish this. Right, this uh, uh, you wrap up on what you got. You had you finished your point. In the, um, you, yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, so it says, um, verse nine, and let us not be weary in well doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Mm -hmm. You know, and the the reward is at the door, literally. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, what Hebrews six and ten, I believe. You know, the Lord is not unjust. You know, yeah. to to forget our our work and labor of love. You know that we do show forth towards towards uh, his name. You know. Uh, so it says, um, as we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. Yeah, as we have opportunity. Yeah. And you have we have nothing but opportunity, man. What, what are you going? What are you going to wait for until yeah. till the missiles is on the way? Yeah. And you know, Jake Jake's an opportunist. You mm -hmm. know. So we we actually have an opportunity to 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 you know uh, uh, exhort one another, you know, to to edify one another, to edify ourselves. Okay, cause we got to make sure that's a part of the uh, reaping and sowing in the spirit. You know, to make sure that we're building ourselves up for the time that we're coming into the time of Jacob's trouble. You know, cause this is only the beginning of the sorrows, like like the Lord said uh, uh, says. You know, in uh, Matthew the twenty fourth chapter, you know, and um, taking eggs. Taking um, advantage of the opportunity that we have, you know, the grace period that we have to mm -hmm. store up as much treasure in heaven as, as we can get, you know, because because we're about to receive a reward if if we do it uh, indeed uh, and de endure to the end. And, and Lord is what we all do, you know, mm -hmm. that's what it's about. Mm -hmm. And so with that, you know, Lord willing, the license was edifying. And we want to give all praises again to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakaq Wadash, double honors to our apostles and elders. Shalom to all the Akim out there preaching his word in truth and sincerity. That's right. Shalom. Shalom.